hello everyone so in this tutorial we're going to learn about some mathematics regarding memory unit so to solve those maths you have to remember two formula so these are very simple formulas so one formula is capacity equals to number of word into bit per word and the other one is number of word equals to true to the power address lines all right so let's take a look at some mathematics so here as you can see so this is a conceptual question all right so this is a conceptual question so if uh, there is a question that states that uh, there is a memory unit of 1024 words with 8 bit per words then which information can we get from this sentence alternatively your question could be like this if the capacity of a memory unit is 1024 into 8 then which information can we get from this sentence all right so the very first information that uh, you should be getting from these sentences is that uh, how many words are there and how many bits per words are there okay so in case of the first sentence it is explicitly read explicitly written that there are 1024 words and 8 bit per words however in case of the second one it is not explicitly written rather it is written uh, following a specific convention all right so 1024 into 8 so whenever you see uh, this format in case of memory unit I mean whenever you see something like this a into B in case of memory unit uh, for example here 1024 into 8 then you should automatically assume that that the uh, left part of this multiplication sign is indicating the number of words and the right part is indicating bit per words okay so the left part of the multiplication sign is number of word and the right part is bit per words okay so you have to understand that all right so once we get that information now we can derive uh, some other information uh, from these numbers okay so at first we can actually calculate the number of address lines so remember we already uh, know this formula that number of word equals to 2 to the power address lines so now uh, from these values we already know the number of word which is 1024 so if the number of word is 1024 then we should be able to identify address line using this formula okay number of word equals to 2 to the power address lines so number of word is 1024 so I should be able to identify the address lines okay so if you calculate it then you will get 10 as the result okay so we can calculate the address lines if we know the number of words okay secondly we can actually calculate the number of flip-flops needed for the address register remember there are two external registers in case of memory unit one is memory address register and another one is memory buffer register so there might be a question uh, that asks you to identify the number of flip-flops needed for the address register so how will you get it so the number of flip-flops needed for the address register it is basically the same as the number of address lines okay so I have already calculated the address lines which is 10 so 10 flip-flops will be needed for the address register that's it so remember that the number of flip-flops needed for the address register is basically the same number as the number of address lines okay furthermore we can calculate the number of flip-flops needed for the buffer register too okay so it will be same as the bit per word information so that means you have to take a look at the bit per word information so here the bit per word value is 8 since this value is 8 so 8 flip-flops will be needed for the buffer register okay so the number of flip-flops needed for the buffer register will always be same as the bit per word value okay if the bit per word value is 8 then we'll need 8 flip-flops for the buffer register okay so these are the information that we can get uh, from these sentences okay so try to understand that and try to remember how we can find out uh, those information okay so these are some very basic information so we'll move into some other mathematics now okay so I have already uh, shown you 
these maths right so I've already shown you these maths uh, these formulas actually so using these formulas I can actually solve some other maths so let's take a look at this question so what is the total capacity of a 2 to the power 16 into 16 memory show the answer in kilobyte okay so this question asks you to identify the total capacity of a 2 to the power 16 into 16 memory and you have to show the answer using kilobyte okay so we already know those uh, formula uh, the formulas are written over here okay so here as you can see if something is given in this format I've already talked about this a uh, few minutes ago that if something is given in this format a into B okay then the left part of this multiplication sign is considered as the number of word and the right part is considered as bit per word okay so here this 2 to the power 16 part is actually the number of word and this 16 over here is bit per word okay so we have the number of word and bit per word and we just need to find the capacity so we can just multiply this whole thing and we should be able to get the answer however when you multiply at the beginning then the answer you get will be in bits all right so, but you have to show the answer in kilobyte all right so if you want to move from bit to kilobyte then you have to move uh, step by step so at first you have to move from bit to byte okay so have to move from bit to byte then you have to move from uh, byte to kilobyte okay this whole solution is already given here so at first you are getting bits and to move into bytes you have to divide the number of bits using 8 okay since 1 byte equals to 8 bits and once you're into bytes then you have to uh, move into kilobyte and if you want to move into kilobyte then you have to divide using 1024 that's because 1 kilobyte equals 1024 bytes all right that's so you have to divide the bytes uh, using 1024 to get into kilobyte and finally you'll get the answer of 128 kilobyte so hope you understand so next question so how many address lines do we need for a 64 megabyte RAM with 32 bit per word again from the question we need to find out which information is available here so we can see that the bit per word information is already available here 32 bit per word alright so this is available and 64 megabyte RAM okay so 64 megabyte RAM means this is actually indicating the capacity so the question asks us to find out the number of address lines however in the first formula we can see that the capacity is given and bit per word is given but in the first formula there is no address line right the address line comes from the second formula okay but before going to that formula we have to find the number of word right so that's why both of these formulas will be used to solve this math okay so at first I'll use the first formula and find out the number of word and once I get the number of word then I'll find out the address lines alright the solution is available here so at first I'll use this formula capacity equals to number of word and bit per word and remember uh, these information are already given capacity and bit per word so once I get the number of word okay so this is the uh, number of word okay this is given in uh, this is calculated in bits and once you get the number of word then you can just put this value over here and then uh, that value equals to 2 to the power address lines and from this formula you can easily find out the address lines okay so you should use calculator to find out uh, this type of to calculate this type of uh, large calculation large uh, calculation related problems okay otherwise if you do it manually then uh, it may take up a lot of your time okay so just use calculators so that's it uh, for uh, the mathematics part from memory unit so very easy maths you just need to remember these two formulas so if you know these two formulas then you should be able to solve uh, these types of maths that are given in this slide okay so thank you very much